people be going to the Word of God will be preaching out of the uh, book of Luke chapter 15, breaking it with Ruth chapter 4, verses 7 to 9. Luke 15, and it's a familiar text. We want to just give it a just slight different um, uh, uh, twist to what you're accustomed to. We brought some tapes with us, and um, we had uh, some of uh, Jeanette's CDs, but the last church we were in, uh, just last night or the night before, in Ohio, they, they just bought every, every last tape. The lines were so long, an hour later, we were still at the tape table and no one left. In a lot of places we go, the lines wrap around, and sometimes we start at 10.30, and at 1 o'clock in the morning, we're still servicing the people, because people are desperate. But what we did bring is Declare Yourself Healed, it has Jeanette singing that song. And then for 45 minutes, we pray over every part of your body. We start at the top of your head, to the soles of your feet, and everything in between. There were some things that we pray about that you didn't even know you had. And Jeanette is singing at the beginning of it, this, this song that you just heard. Her sister actually wrote that song we were in uh, Jamaica together. Her sister never even read a poem. I'm good. Yeah, just put it there. Her sister never even read a poem. But uh, it was interesting because uh, when she came to me and she said, oh, Dr. Trevor, God just gave me a song. And I said, okay. And uh, uh, finish writing the song, and then I'll, I'll, I'll you know, listen to it. And when I heard the song, uh, Jeanette went straight into the, um, the studio and recorded it. Uh, I think it just took a couple of days. She went straight there and recorded it. And then from there, we developed Declare Yourself Healed. And you probably want to pick up a copy of this. It's, it's very powerful and it's very moving. Also, we brought with us, uh, I think, uh, a, a series of tapes that will empower you. These are our best sellers. We have to continue to, um, you know, reproduce them. But the whole declaration series is is is, is important. Declare yourself. You will declare your home and family blessed. Most of us will spend more money on entertainment than education. And um, we have to convince people that the best thing that you can do is to invest in information. Money doesn't do the world, toys and ideas do. And if you want to change your life, you've got to get an idea or a thought that will actually uh, that catapult you into living in a different realm. When the uh, woman who lost her husband came to the prophet Elijah and said, I don't have any money, he didn't give her money, he gave her an idea. And what you're lacking in your life is just fresh ideas. Also, Unleash the Champion Within is, is a message that I preach at, one, at Bishop Jake's uh, church or ministry, and um, it's been selling since. But I want to recommend something very, very highly. And this is what I want to challenge you to do. Many of us, if our car broke down, we will find the money to get our car fixed because we need to basically go to work. And that is because we have been trained to make our mechanics rich at our expense. If we didn't have money today, but we ended up with a toothache, tomorrow we'll find the money. Why? Because we have been trained to make our dentists rich at our expense. But then when it comes to investing in our lives, uh, outside of what we buy, outside of the Louis Vuitton, and Bermuda is like the best. So we're not going to get a knockoff, we're going to get the original. So we will spend money on a Louis Vuitton to dress up on the outside, but very few people will spend enough money on information to challenge us on the inside. And when you want to change, you usually change because of information. If you want success, it's based on information. If you want prosperity, it's based on information. The Bible says that we perish for a lack of knowledge. It doesn't say we perish because of the devil or because of the devil's attack. You see, our greatest enemy is not the devil. Our greatest enemy is ignorance. Turn to your name and say, I'm concerned about your ignorance. That's our greatest enemy, our greatest enemy. And there's nobody in this world that gives us their trade secrets. Most of us are keeping our lives together with bubble gum and shoe strings. Because the people that should be sharing their trade secrets, they don't share their trade secrets. And a lot of times, all we're looking for is the right information that can take us into our next level to break the thresholds of success and prosperity. It's all based on information. And so I'm going to challenge you, and no matter how many people are out there, I'm going to challenge you, wait until you get served. Serve. Do the same, get the same. You're going to just rush over to your same house, 
You basically know the tree that you're going to drive by because it's the same tree you drove by yesterday and last year. You've got to be able to break cycles. You cannot break a cycle if you do the same thing over and over. Someone has to come and challenge you. Uh, Einstein said a body at rest stays at rest until a greater force moves it. You are driven by something that is greater than your brain. Your brain seeks homeostasis. Your brain wants to remain the same. But your mind is what is going to break you into new rounds of success and prosperity. This is why the Bible said, present your body in living sacrifice, holy acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. The gospel is preached. After you get saved, not to change your spirit, because your spirit is ready to go to heaven, but it's to change your mind. What one thing can you do to change everything? You can change your mind. And what we bought is a series of uh, CDs to help you to break through to the next threshold. How many of you want to go to the next level? Amen. How many of you are willing to invest the resources to go there? There's a 10,000 hour, there's a 10,000 hour philosophy. Whatever you do for 10,000 hours, you succeed in it. No matter how bad you are, how good you are, you'll have success. What happens with the average person, we stop, we start, we stop, we start, we stop, we start. We never get good at that thing. We never reach that 10,000 hour threshold. And so we end up with hidden potential on the inside of us. And then we watch other people that are less talented than us, less educated than us, end up getting all the breaks. You've got to be able to put your time in. And you have to have focus, uh, and energy, you have to have a focus on where you're going, and you cannot be distracted. This is a season where God is going to anoint us with focus. There are so many people that are doing things, people that are writing books, people that are singing. You are not concerned about what people are saying, you're concerned about your own song. When you write books, you give your own opinion, and when you write a book, you give your perspective on a topic. And no one has to agree with you. Some of the uh, worst books that are out there are books that are written with someone that gave the perspective, and then people began to talk it up, and they became good sellers, best sellers. You can be a best seller, old selling author, if you would just put your time in. If you spend all your time doing nothing, you're still going to be successful. You're going to be successful at nothing. But if you put your time in, you can just figure out what God is holding you to do and what God is holding you to do. Can I get a little bit more floor monitor, please? If you could just give me four floor monitor, I would appreciate it very much. And if, if, if you could just figure out. But a lot of times, we don't have people around us that have the capacity for us. So instead of those people being our midwives, they become uh, abortionists. And they end up avoiding the very thing that God wants to do for us. But what God is going to do for you is bring people back into your life that sees who you are, that has the ability to see your potential and challenge you at that point. When you begin to change, the people around you are not going to like it. Why? Because their brain is going to tell them, I like you the way you are. And most people want you to stay the same way that they that you were when you met them. And you'll feel a pull as soon as you start growing, as soon as God starts promoting you, as soon as you start tapping into what God has called you to do, you're going to start feeling this pull. I call it emotional manipulation where the, the psychology or the human spirit is going to begin to appeal to that old you. But you've got to be able to tell them, I don't live there anymore. This is what happened to Esau and Jacob. Esau wanted to kill his brother because his brother violated a relational contract. It was a social contract that they made. And he violated that. And his brother felt that if I'm justified, I'm going to kill you. And so when he was coming to watch Jacob, he still wanted to kill him. You know, there was a vendetta. And what God is going to do in the island of Bermuda, he's going to deliver you from people's personal vendettas. You may not know it, but you could feel it. There were people that maybe when you were younger and, and, and less intelligent and you were immature when you were 15 and 16 and 13 and you talked about them and you heard them, you were immature. We didn't know any different. Those people will refuse to let you go. Now that you're 15 and 16 and you're matured and you look back on your life, I just call it an in, uh, a, a unintended consequence. If you knew what you know now and you knew it when 
you were 15 and 16. A lot of things that you did when you were 15 and 16, you wouldn't have done it, you know, but you did it. And there are a lot of people that are holding you hostage in their mind. They, they, they have a vendetta. They don't want to see you succeed and prosper. Can I get a show you around? Because I know I'm talking to you. I, I grew up here, so I know what I'm talking about. And they have a vendetta. And they're going to make sure that if, if the anointing of God is upon you and you've got the talent and skills, how, how we do it in Bermuda is we're going to sit on you. We're going we're gonna to ignore you. We're not going to acknowledge who you are. We're going to keep appealing and talking about where you came from and what we know about you. You know, as if somehow God died and left you in his stead. Are you hearing me? But God is about to deliver us as Bermudians. We, you are not going to be controlled by people anymore. People are not going to be able to put a lid on you. They are not going to be able to limit you. God is going to create a, a counter culture where you're going to be able to thrive in. It's a culture, it's a specific culture that God creates for greatness. And God has reserved a place for you. Amen? I don't know who I'm talking to. I think I'm talking to everybody. But I'm talking to somebody in here. Something should be going on in your spirit that says what she is saying is true. The Bible said, what, you shall know the truth and the truth shall, shall set you free. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times we deal with facts. That's the problem, you see, because Adam, when he fell, he didn't fall from heaven. He fell from a, fell from a realm of greatness. He fell from a realm of dominion. He fell from a realm of authority. He didn't have to go to school to be a genius. All he had to do is hear the word of God. When God said, be fruitful, multiply, replenish, shut do, have dominion, live healthy, and be productive. As soon as he heard that something was activated on the inside of him. Why? Because he was born with the potential to be great. The only thing God had to do is put in front of him a problem. You see, when problems come in your life, that is not an announcement that the devil has the upper hand. The devil is a liar. Whenever God allows problems to come into your life, it is a divine announcement that God is getting ready to promote you and prosper you. He's getting ready to show you the hidden seed of greatness, the hidden seed of potential. We have learned it's a learned behavior in Bermuda to catastrophize a crisis. A crisis is necessary. A crisis announces the end of a cycle. A crisis announces the end of a season. We are in a critical moment in Bermuda. We are in the middle of a crisis. But this is not the time for us to throw in the towel and begin to 
because it costs about fifty dollars to buy yourself lunch in Bermuda. <laughs> Take it on hundred dollars and buy, invest in some information that has the power to change you. And out of everything you can buy, if you don't buy anything else, I want you to go to the back. If you don't buy anything else, I need every last one of you to go to the back and get this series. It's called The 40 Day Soul Fast. Why? Because this book is not about what you're eating. It's about what's eating you. You will spend the best 40 days of your life. This is like having a coach in a book. People hire me as their personal coach. They have to pay me for $4,000. And this is only $30, $30, $4,000, $30. This is like having a coach in a book. It's forwarded by T.D. Jakes. And we want you to get not only this, but the 40-day um, uh, journal. Get both of them. I want you to go online to Trade International. And there, I want you to hit the button that says um, uh, Empowerment Newsletter. Sign up there, it's free. You don't need to be a, you don't need to be a partner. Then hit the thing that says Soul Fast. It'll hyperlink you into the SoFast portal, and you'll be on a landing page. When you go there, hit join the 40-day SoFast. This is just simple information. None of you are writing it down. And, amen? amen? Take out your smartphones and record it. Do something. <laughs> and, and go there. On there, there's a bunch of free stuff. Number one, there is a, an uh, a AQ test. Authenticity quotient test. If you go on there, it just takes a few minutes. If you take the uh, authenticity quotient, it'll tell you how true to yourself you're living. It'll tell you how authentic you're living. It only takes a few minutes, it's free, it'll spit back the answer. It'll tell you the areas in your life that you need to, you know, upgrade and the areas that you're not being true to who you are. Secondly, when you join the Soul Fast for 40 days, every single day, I'm going to show up in your mailbox. So if you don't want to see my face, don't hear join the Soul Fast. But, but, but if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. So I want to see you, amen, for 40 days. And we'll walk you through this book is written so that every single day you get up and you're coached and you're looking at one specific area. There are 40, area, there are 40 characteristics of an authentic person in this book. Those are the 40 characteristics of an authentic person. So if you don't get anything, and listen, don't get impatient because someone in front of you is getting served. God is now serving from the back of the line. The last shall be first, and the first shall be last. And so just, just wait your turn and go to the back, and don't hurt my feelings and walk out without buying something. Amen. 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 Because I'm going to look, I'm going to count it. How many did they buy? So don't be hurting my feelings, amen? In conclusion, for those of you that think I'm going to be here a long 